Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So hey guys, it is Tuesday and it is Talk About It Tuesday. Yes, it is. So I wanted to come on and just say hi and I don't know, I have really nothing specific to talk about. I mean, there are a lot of things I want to talk about, but I'm just kind of going to chat with what's on my mind and stuff. Not having such a great day today, feeling a little off. It happens. <laughs> I've been feeling pretty good. So, and yesterday I had a really busy day in the kitchen and stuff. And I think when I have a busy day, the next day always seems to be a little bit, um, I always seem to be a little bit off the next day. I don't know if it's just because I'm tired or maybe, I don't know. I, I really have no idea what it is. But I'm feeling a little off, but I'm continuing to function because I have to. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to do, uh, I don't think I'm doing a what's for dinner. I might keep this video and then just add some stuff to it, to the to the talk about it Tuesday, because um, we are going to be eating something, but we're going to be having stuffed shells. Julie's coming over. We're going to the movies, actually, at 6.40, at 6.45, um, to see the little, the new Little Mermaid. So... Um, Julie's coming over with Brody. We're going to eat some. So I have all kinds of leftovers in there. I have chicken. I have stuffed shells. I have... Oh, refrigerator's full of stuff. So, I'm not, I'm not going to be cooking anything, per se, but we're going to... We're definitely going to eat something. So, I'll probably film that. Or maybe I will just film that, and I'll just do the what's for, the what's to talk about it Tuesday separate. I don't know. All I know, guys, is that this world is coming to really... The stuff that's going on is just is just crazy. Just just the little things from the you know. Do you notice like when you go when you go to a restaurant now? I don't know if this is in your state or your area, but you walk into a restaurant. Billy and I went to um, Ruby Tuesdays the other day. You know. So you walk in there, and there's nobody there. There's no lady or man at the, no hostess <clears throat> st standing there. I remember ye before the pandemic, and I know this is because of the pandemic, of all the causes and effects that happened with, with the pandemic. Um, you used to walk in and there was people around. There was hostesses, there was waitresses, there was, you know, it was busy. You walk into the restaurants now and I feel like it's just like a ghost town. We walked into the, into the, this restaurant. It didn't even look like it was open. When when you went in, there was it was like maybe two booths with somebody in it, and there was no no waitresses around, no hostess around or anything. So we walk in and we're standing there, and there's two people waiting next to us, and they they were standing there. So I don't know how long they were waiting. Finally, some lady, a hostess, comes over. And she says, oh, can I help you, whatever? And she says, yeah, we want to, you know, she says, oh, two. And she says, yeah. So she brings, the, she brings them over to the table. And then she comes back for us. And she's like, oh, how many, two, whatever. And so, yeah. So then she brought us to the table. But it's just like, there's no, there's no customer service. It's like, because I think because they're not making as much money anymore. I, I spoke about this a couple of months ago on my channel that I'm so disappointed with and so, like, turned off to, um, so turned off to, to restaurants because there's just no customer service anymore. There's no, there's no friendliness. There's no, I just, I don't, I don't like it. And, and the food is really very, uh, food isn't that great. It's like, you know, par, par and you're, you hear you are spending your money, you know, that's really rough to, to make right now and all that other stuff and to keep. And, you know, it just is, anyway. So my husband and I went, <clears throat> we decided to go get a bite to eat because we were out. Jenny was at the movies, and so we wanted to get something together and just hang out. So that's what we did. So we went in there. So it, they seated us, and we looked at the menu, and, and we were there a good 15, 20 minutes before anybody walked over to our table, li literally. So I was getting really, like, cranky. I'm like, oh, I think we're going to just leave because this is, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do this. Like, I'm not going to really get stressed out here, you know? So then, so then the waitress comes over, finally, and she's like, oh. We did. So we ordered our food because we knew already what we wanted. 
and it was okay from there on from there on in the food was pretty good wasn't the best but it was good for ruby tuesdays it's like um it's like applebees or um uh, um uh, yeah more like applebees than anything um, chilies, you know, TJ Fridays, but a little different. Um, so I got fish and chips because for some reason I was craving fish and chips. And all of a sudden they open up the menu and there it is. And I'm like, oh my God, I want fish and chips. So I got fish and chips. Billy got, um, a cheesesteak sandwich. And the food was, was pretty good. Um, it stinks going out to dinner when you, when, with the sleeve guys, because they had... The sleeve, you know, you have to... I don't know what I got on my shirt. They get, you have to pick your poisons. So what I mean by that is, I've spoke about this before. If you're... if When you're eating your meals, lunch, dinner, breakfast, whatever the heck it is, you can't really have... Well, you can. You can have, like, your food groups if you want. But the thing is... If you eat, if you eat more of one thing, then you can't really have, I'm always fiddling with my hair because it's always, I can see it in here and it's always bothering me. I, I know you guys see this. That's just the way it goes. It's sticking up over here. It's annoying me. Um, you can't have like a little bit of everything. You can, a little bit. I, but you can have a tiny bit of everything. Let's, let's say that. So last night I made, uh, well, well let, let's stick to the restaurant. So we were at the restaurant and they gave you four fish, four like, you know, like triangle fishes with french fries. Um, so I had about half of the fish and I decided, because I wanted it, I decided to have more of the french fries than anything. So I had to make a choice. <clears throat> do I have more of the fish? Do I have more of the french fries? Or which one do I want more of? Or I really could have sat there for an hour, but we didn't really have that much time. Um, we were a little rushed, so I could have sat there for an hour and enjoyed it and, and ate a lot of it, you know, just waiting and taking my time, but I didn't. So um, I had a half a fish. I had a nice handful of French fries. I even tasted a piece of my husband's um, cheesesteak, a little piece of it, and I was done. That was it. I was done. So... I ended up bringing the fish home, bringing it home, and I, ne I never ended up eating it. I never ended up eating the rest of it. Um, so that was that. So going to a restaurant at this point in this journey is hard because it's very early on and your stomach is really, really, really small. Eventually, you, you, it does stretch a little bit, you know, so you got to be careful that you don't gain weight and all that other stuff, but... Right now, it's really, really tough. So it's it's a little it's a little hard, um, and and it's just hard in general. You know, the good news is, guys, and talking about and I'm talking about it today, is I got on the scale this morning and I'm down another three pounds. So I'm one, I'm I'm down a hundred and one pounds, guys. One hundred pounds? Could you believe that? I can't believe it. I lost a whole another person. I lost a whole person. To be a hundred pounds heavier than this, I didn't realize how heavy I was, guys. So unhealthy, so bad. But now I know because I feel so good. I feel like a new person. I really, really do. So it so that's the consequence to the sleeve, which is a very good consequence for my health and you know my being. So that's that's the good thing about about it. But on the other hand, it sucks. It does. It sucks. I'm here to tell you that the sleeve sucks. And it sucks because I am a food lover. You know I'm a food lover. I'm a food maker. I'm a foodie. I just... Food is very, very... Has very... A lot of... of has been very important to me my whole entire life. Not just eating it. But I guess, I guess because it always t gave me so much comfort. You know, food was always my crutch that I went to. And that's not even healthy. I'm not saying that's healthy. That's not even a good thing, but that's just the way. It, the, that's just the way it was, and and you know, so that's what I'm trying. That's what I'm battling too, as far as the as the sleeve, because it's it's for me. Food was more than just 
um, feeding my feeding my body. It was more. It was feeding my soul. You know, which is is not healthy. But that's that's just a that, that's just a fact. You know. So I'm struggling with now and trying to manage, learn how to manage how to deal with that because I looked forward to those type of things. Food was very big and look, looking forward to, you know, eating and looking forward to, you know, just food. I guess it, I like how it makes me feel and I don't know. But anyway, it was, it was a very big part of my life. And so now I'm having to come to the realization how much of an emotional eater I was, you know, and I'm talking to my, my psychologist about it. So she's going to help me work through all that. And I'm working through it. It's not, it's not as bad. as the, It's not so bad. But it is kind of, it's very, very hard. And, it, and, it, and it's normal to be hard because I went from eating whatever I wanted, stuff my face, and if I'm, till I can't eat anymore, to not being able to, to, to being able to eat a little bit at a time. And, you know, and some things don't agree with me. And then I feel sick and, you know, um, it's not, that's not a nice feeling. And then you have to experience sometimes if you eat too fast, if you eat too much, it comes up, TMI. Um, sorry about that. But um, so there's, it, it's a lot. And I think that's why they make you go for a psychological before you have the, the surgery because... It really is very, it, there is a lot of psycho stuff in it. There really, really is. You really have to be, you know, it's, it's a lot to handle. It is, it's, a, it's a lot to deal with, especially when you use food as a crutch and you use food to comfort, you know. If you don't, it's not as bad. But so, like, today was not a good day, a good day eating. I had a, a boiled egg this morning. Um... And then later on, I had, um, I was a little bit hungry, so I had some leftover chicken from last night. Excuse me. And I had a little bit of that, and I just felt yucky afterwards. I didn't feel great. It felt like it, it was here. It didn't, and I only had a little bit, you know, and it was chicken. Like, I, that's why meat turns me off, because sometimes when I eat meat, it just doesn't agree with me. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to friggin' eat eat this anymore so I had a little bit and I threw the rest out didn't even eat it and then I was like oh I want something like I feel like I need something so I had a piece a couple pieces of watermelon didn't really go down too great I don't know why today my stomach's a little off today um so I um I had a little couple of pieces then I had to go to the bathroom and everything else and um I was fine I'm, I'm okay but um so now I wanted something. I needed to have something. Like, I'm like, I got to eat something. Like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, but yet when I think of food, I get nauseous. And, like, I don't want to eat. I'll open up the fridge and I'll be like, ugh, I don't want that. I don't want this. I don't want that. So I remembered that I made those yogurt parfait things, those yogurt um, fruit bombs, those sugar-free yogurt fruit bombs, and they were in the freezer. And I'm like, oh, I want one of those. So I took one out. Now, you can leave them on the counter so they'll thaw a little bit because they're very frozen and you can't really eat them like that. So I didn't have time to leave it on the counter. I put it in the microwave for like 20 seconds and it softened it up just enough where it was like an ice cream, you know, ice cream. So I had that. That was so good. And that went down fine, right? That went down fine and I feel okay. I don't feel nauseous or anything. And it satisfied my little craving. And so I had that. But... You know, some days I just don't want to eat. I'm just like, ugh, I just don't want to eat. I'm not going to eat, you know. So um, so it's it's not an easy thing, you know. It's not the easy way out. It, the sleeve is not the easy way out. People think, oh, it's, you know, it's, the, it's not it, it's the easy way out. It's not the easy way out. It's very, very hard. It's very, very difficult. There's a lot. A lot before, a lot after, a lot during. There's a lot with this, with this whole situation. But again, the consequences are the weight loss, the feeling good, and they're good consequences. I could tie my shoes now. I, am, I, am in, I feel like I'm in a new body. I'm a new person in a new body, guys. And it's, it's freeing. It's very, very freeing. And it's amazing. It's amazing. And so I always talk about the, the sleeve that I have a love-hate relationship with the sleeve. And I do. I hate it. I hate it. And I'm being completely honest with you guys. 
I hate what it represents. I hate the fact that it keeps me from indulging when I want to and all of that. And I also love it because it gave me my life back. So that's what I'm talking about today on this Tuesday. Talking about the struggles with the sleeve. So if you know anybody that's going through the sleeve, just be a little bit more compassionate about it. And, you know, um, it's not an easy thing. It's not just an easy fix. It's a work. It's hard. It's a work in progress. And it's not easy. So have compassion for people who are going through it, even going through dieting and stuff, you know, that have to lose weight. It's not an easy thing, guys. It really isn't an easy thing. So um, that's what I wanted to talk about today. So I'm just telling you that I'm, I'm struggling, but I'm getting through it. And um, like I said, the consequences is 101 pounds, and I'm very happy about that. So that's, that's the number one thing that I care about. So yeah, guys, so that's my Talk About It Tuesday. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, don't forget to hit that notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys, because when you subscribe, it really does help my channel grow, and I so, so appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for coming into my home and my kitchen and creating with me. I love you guys. I hope you're having a great day again, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.